How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're on a battle versus Gwen in the Smogon overused tier and I know it's going to be a good one. Stick around till the end for a bonus battle and with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun Gwen. I'm sure this is going to be a great battle. They're going to lead off with Galvantula. As I lead off with Great Tusk. Now, I lead off with Great Tusk because I kind of figured they lead with Lycanroc. Because normally when I see Lycanroc, Dusk gets a lead. Stealth Rocks and all that. But this thing can get Energy Ball, which I'm not about to mess around with. <laughs> so, I'm going to have to switch out. And I'm going to go into my Florges. They may get the uh, Sticky Rose up straight away, but they don't have a Ghost type. So, we know we can definitely Rapid Spin later with Great Tusk. So, it's not the end of the world. They do withdraw Galvantula, so they might not have Energy Ball. And they're going to go into Scizor. XO, they expected me to go Florges. They predicted me straight away. Wow, we're already off to an amazing start. My opponent's clearly a competent battler. Like always, obviously. Um, we go into our Florges, nice and shiny. Now we have to switch out again. And there's a lot of switching, I know, well, whatever. Um, I want to go Gyarados or Great Tusk. I think I will go Great Tusk once again. And this time I'm going to get my Stealth Rocks up. They might have gone into Sizzle, you know, for the Defog. If they did, then that's fair enough. But... They kind of have to switch out because Great Tusk could have Temper Flare, which Scizor definitely doesn't want to take. So I think they will U-turn this turn. So it's a great opportunity for us to get a Stealth Rocks up. They more than likely go into either the Iron Valiant or the Azumarill, if I had to guess. So I'm going to get a Stealth Rocks up whilst I can. So they, we go for a Stealth Rock. We outspeed as well, which is good to know. And they're not speed invested on the Scizor. I, actually, I don't know. I think Great Tusk outspeeds Scizor anyway, doesn't it? Um, but they go for a Swords Dance. Which is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. They are leftovers. I think what I have to do this next turn is because I know I can take a dual wing meat from this thing. No problem. I'm going to go for an EQ and get as much damage off as possible that I can. So we go for the EQ. It's going to do a lot of damage to the Scizor. Not too much. But they do have Defog with Swords Dance. Which tells me they might not have dual wing beat. Um, which is very good to know. So what I'm going to do here is I don't have knockoffs. So I can't get rid of them leftovers. I have Ice Spinner because I have Knock Off on something else. I have Knock Off on my Scizor. Um, so I'm going to go for another EQ. We're just going to try and get some damage off on the Scizor. Because the minute they attack us, they're going to get Rocky Helmet Chip anyway. So we go for the EQ. Should do a lot of damage to the Scizor. They go for another Swords Dance. This Scizor is setting up all over my face. And there is a good chance that they KO us with the um, Bullet Punch the next turn. But there is a good chance that we live as well. There is a very good chance we live because Great Tusk is just that bulky. So let's go for another EQ to take this Scizor out. They do go for the BP, which is going to definitely do a lot of damage. No way near enough to take us out. Great Tusk is just too bulky. What's amazing is that I'm not even defensive Great Tusk, I don't think. I think I'm um, max speed, max HP, uh, which is cool. Really cool. In comes the Azumarill, which is a very big threat to my Great Tusk. However... We do outspeed, so I do kind of want to go for the Stealth Rocks because they're going to be really useful, like Galvantula and the Lycan Rock if they're Focus Sash. Um, Great Tusk isn't doing too much else other than that, so I think I will go for a Stealth Rocks. There we go, Stealth Rocks comes through. They may want a Belly Drum here. They may Belly Drum. It's a possibility. I don't think they will, but they might do. They do. So Belly Drum comes through. And unfortunately, we're not Terra Water. We're actually Terra Ice, I believe. Um, but I will double check that um, because we may have to Terra here. We may have to Terra here. It's definitely a possibility. We are Terra Water, not Terra Ice. For some reason, I thought it was Terra Ice because it was blue. But um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know my own team. Uh, anyway, let's, should we, do we Terra Water because of the Aqua Jet? And then we can go for an EQ. Is that what we have to do here? Do I have anything else that can do this? So Scizor's Bullet Punch might get a good KO on there. Um, Gyarados can definitely take a Aqua Jet, that's for sure. I don't think... I, I, I think they go for an Aqua Jet or a Play Rough expecting the Gyarados. I don't think I could switch out. I don't want to waste my Terra just in case it still KOs because it is huge power plus Belly Drum. I am just going to stay in and go for an EQ because I, I'm going to get the Rocky Helmet chip anyway. So it's a bit of damage at the end of the day. So that's the Zoom Roll taking out Great Tusk. I couldn't really do anything else there because if they went for a Play Rough and my Gyarados switched in, I'd be screwed. Um, so Scizor does out speed and we can go for a Bullet Punch. Um, I think. Gyarados can definitely outspeed. And we can go for a Terra Blast Flying if we want to on EQ. Um, but I'm leaning towards the Sizzle. Sizzle is going to be really useful for the Iron Valiant though. And the Lycan Rock and the Roaring Moon. So what do I do? Um, I, I wish I had Intimidate on something. I know Dragapult can take a hit. Dragapult isn't super useful. And Dragapult outspeeds. 
I think we go Dragapult because it can definitely take an Aqua Jet. And we can go for a Choice Pick Shadow Ball and hopefully get the KO on the Azumarill. Let's go for the Shadow Ball. They do go for an Aqua Jet and we should live. We do live. And we can go for a Shadow Ball. It's Choice Spec, so it probably gets the KO. No. They barely lived. Ah. Not good. Um, however, we do KO with the Gyarados because we definitely outspeed with the Gyarados. So, do we just stay in and go for another uh, Shadow Ball? I think we do, right? Yeah, we have to, basically. Um, so, they go for another Aqua Jet. This Azumarill is proving to be a bit of a problem, but... At the end of the day, Dragapult wasn't doing too much for us. You know, we don't need Dragapult to win this game because the Iron Valley has probably got Booster. The Roaring Moon could have Booster. So I'm going to go for the Gyarados Switch now because I know it'll KO. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go straight for a Waterfall because, again, I know it'll KO the Azumarill and we don't have to Terra. So I'm going to go for the Waterfall now. So they go for an Aqua Jet to get some damage off. It does well over half. We get the waterfall off, which is great, and that's going to take out the Azumarill finally. So Azumarill puts some holes in the team. Um, definitely put some holes in the team, but we managed to beat it in the end, thanks to our resistances to normal. And we get Moxie Boost as well, so they kind of have to go Galvantially here, or, well, they can go Iron Valiant, they can go whatever. They can go Lycan, they can go literally anything they want to, because Gyarados cannot do anything to this team. Um, Stealth Rocks do come through. I am going to go for the waterfall just in case they don't go for an Acelerock. Um, but they do, of course, go for the Acelero, which is going to take us out. So that's unfortunate. But it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world because we do have the Scizor in the back. They haven't Terraged yet. We do have the uh, Reuniclus. We do have the Scizor. I'm going to go Scizor. Scizor is a good one here because we can bullet punch this thing. Um, and they can go Galvantula, but I don't think they will. So I'm going to go for the BP. So we go for a BP. That's going to definitely take out the Lycan Rock as there it goes. Um, they stayed in because they, they literally don't, uh, their best switching is Galvantula, you know? Their best switching is Galvantula. We haven't Terraged yet, so we can still pull Reuniclus off. Galvantula comes in, which is great. Um, the stones are going to dig in and all that stuff. I'm going to go into Floor just because Floor just doesn't care too much about any of their team. So we withdraw and we go to Floor just. Floor just can take any hit from the Galvantula because we're special defensive. We can also wall the Iron Valiant to an extent. The Roaring Moon's the one that's going to be a problem, though. It's definitely going to be a problem. So they go for a Thunder and they miss. I don't think that matters too much because it wouldn't have done much damage. We go for a Moonblast. They do go for a Thunder Wave. Just trying to cripple my uh, Floorgis, which makes sense. Um, because I'm probably going to get fully paralyzed this turn anyway. Watch. No, we didn't. Okay, cool. Moonblast comes through. Nearly takes out the Galv. We go for another Moonblast. They can't switch anything in. They can't really terror the Galvantula because no matter what they terror into, it'll still get KO'd. They go for a Thunder to get them last ditch damage off. Does nothing, see? Absolutely no. Uh, Moonblast comes through, Floor just comes through, Galvantula goes down. Absolutely amazing stuff. That, that Azumarill really has put a damper on the team, though. In comes the Roaring Moon. This thing is probably going to Terra Flying um, Dragon Nance, if I had to guess. Or Terra Steel Dragon Nance. They are Booster Energy in its, what, attack? Attack was heightened. They do kind of have to Terra here. Do we risk it? What do we do here? I think we have to we have to Moonblast. We still live the Acrobatics. That crit, that miss Thunder. If they didn't miss that Thunder, if they didn't miss that Thunder, that would have taken us out. So that Thunder miss mattered. Oh dear. So we're in an awkward spot where Valiant could come back. Um, it really depends on what it does here. So Point Stones do dig in. They are Booster Energy, probably in speed if I had to guess. Yeah, speed, that's good. They can take us out with literally anything right now. So I'm going to go for a Moonblast and let them. They go for their own Moonblast, which takes us straight out. So Blossom the Floor just did really good this game. You know, it tanked a hit, avoided hits, tanked hits. You name it, it got it. So now we go Scizor and we just Bullet Punch. They could Terra here. They probably do Terra. But we have the, uh, the Assault Vest Reuniclus in the back. So I'm going to Bullet Punch real quick. They do Terra. What type are they Terraing into though? Fire or Steel or something? Let's find out. Let's find out. Ghost. Terra Ghost. Okay, that is terrifying. Um, have they got Shadow Ball? Is that why they're going for the Terra Ghost? I mean, Bullet Punch is going to do a decent bit of chip damage still. As there we go, over half. We lose some HP from the Life Orb. They go for a Thunderbolt, which isn't going to KO us. No way near KOs us. Which means we get a Bullet Punch KO the next turn, which is fantastic. As Scizor finishes up the game. So that's going to be the game. So GG Gwen, that was a fun one. Um, that Thunder Mist definitely screwed you with the Floor Gist, But I think we, we could have pulled that back anyway. Because I had Terra Fairy on my uh, 
Reuniclus, so it would have been able to take a hit from the Roaring Moon, no problem. Um, but still, unfortunate miss on the Thunder. But either way, GG Gwen. And we have ourselves a bonus battle. We have a bonus battle versus Cody in the Smogon OU tier from the Discord server. And we always have great battles versus Cody because he's such a good battler. It's just always a fun time. But anyway, with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Cody. So they're going to lead off with the Slow King as I led off with the Dragapult. So we're in a good position already. We could Shadow Ball this thing to Oblivion. Um, but I think it's likely they'll switch out into their Tyranitar, if anything. They could think we're the lead Dragapult that we're going to burn them, so they might not. Um, and they might go for a Chilly Reception. So I think I'm going to go for a Shadow Ball, to be honest with you. I think that is the way to go here. So Shadow Ball is going to come through. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more daily Pokemon Wi-Fi battles like this one, be sure to drop a like and subscribe so you don't miss out. So they do withdraw the Slow King. What are they going to go into? The Tyranitar risking the burn? Maybe. Hit him on top. Even better because that thing doesn't resist Shadow Ball. But we get to go for a clean spec Shadow Ball on it. They, they do try and intimidate us, but the clear body is going to bounce that back. We go for a Shadow Ball. I have clear body because of sticky webs. And that him on top takes that like an absolute champ. We do get a Spadef drop, but that's not enough in my opinion. So what we're going to have to do here is um, we could go into Gyarados. We could set up a Dragon Dance. Um, I don't think that's a good idea just yet while the Hatterene's still there. And the Jolteon. Um, the Jolteon would be cool. it could be Flame Body Quick Feet. So I think I'm going to go Flawgis because it can definitely take out this Hitmon top. So we'll withdraw Dragapult and we'll go straight into Flawgis real quick, which is a good old Blossom who we did really well in the last battle, tanking those hits and avoiding those Thunders. And um, they go for an Ice Spinner, which is definitely going to sting a little bit, but not too much because it's only a Hitmon top at the end of the day. Now I can freely go for a Moonblast if I want to. Um, I am leaning towards it, but that Moltres or Slow King is pretty obvious that they're going to come into or a Bullet Punch. One of the two. So I think what I'm going to do is I want to switch out into Dragapult again or I want to go into Gyarados. Gyarados could work. Um, Gyarados actually does really well against the team. If we can get rid of that Moltres because we want to get the Flame Body Burn. Um, and we can get a couple of Dragon Dancers up and maybe a Moxie Boost will be golden. So what do I do here? I think what I'll do is I'll just Moonblast. Because um, they probably do go into the Moltres. But at the, at the same time, I don't really want to overpredict. They bring Hatterene in, which is definitely not what I expected. So Hatterene comes in. We go for that Moonblast, which is definitely going to do a bit of chip. Nice bit of chip. And then we're going to get our leftovers recovery. They're not eject button, which is good to know. They could be eject pack, though. But they are actually going to pop a leftover. So they're leftovers, which is good to know. So they're probably going to calm mind on us. Um, if they do calm mind on us, do I want to calm mind myself or do I want to switch out? I'm leaning towards the scissor switch. I think scissor is a good switch here because they probably calm mind. And they're probably terror steel. So we should go in scissor. Crimson eye over here. Scissor's only real... Oh, the sword? Swords dance? Hatterene. Really? What does, what does Hatterene get that's physical? I am so confused by this. What on earth? Should we go for a U-turn or a knockoff? I'm going to knock off that leftovers. Because um, they probably tear a steel anyway. Or tear a fire. I hope not tear a fire because we lose our scissor if they do. We definitely lose scissor if they do tear a fire. Tear a fire. So it's a good job we didn't bullet punch like I thought. But maybe we should have U-turned. I was expecting Terra Steel more than anything. But we go for a knockoff. That's going to sting a little bit, the Hatterene. Gets rid of the leftovers as well, so no re residual recovery. But they probably go for a Terra Blast here, which they have done. And that's going to KO Sizzle, no doubt. As it is a physical Terra Blast boosted by Sword Dance. So down goes Sizzle. Really interesting Hatterene set, I will say. We did lose one of our ways of taking care of the Tyranitar. But it's fine. We can handle this. Now that they're Terrifier, we can go Gyarados, pretty much. I think they might have Nuzzle, so I'm, I'm actually tempted to go Great Tusk instead. Go for the Stealth Rocks, the Earthquake. But I'm not. I'm going to go Gyarados because Gyarados threatens their entire team with its attacking power. And um, nothing really wants to switch in on a Waterfall, whereas Great Tusk, they've got Moltres. So I am going to go for the... I'm going to go straight for the Waterfall to get the KO on the Hatterene. Waterfall comes through, they stay in. Hatterene goes down. So Hatterene did really good there. It KO'd my Scizor, which is unlikely for a Hatterene to do. It's, it's not unheard of, but it's like, you don't expect it, you know? <laughs> you know? So anyway, down goes the Hatterene. We get a Moxie boost, which is great. We're now a big threat to their entire team, except from the Jolteon. Hitmontop comes through. There we go. 
And it's going to get the Intimidate off, but we're still at neutral attack, so we could go for the Terra Blast flying if we really wanted to. Um, I am leaning towards Dragon Dancing. That could be useful. I think I will Dragon Dance because they're not going to have Thunder Punch, right? There's no way they have Thunder Punch on this Hitmon top. Um, I don't have to Terra either if I do this. I don't have to Terra if I do this. So they go for an Ice Spinner, which is going to do nothing, really. No damage. We go for another Dragon Dance. Yeah, we go for another Dragon Dance. Why not? They withdraw the Hitmon top. They've realized what they've done. They've realized what they've done. But after two Dragon Dances, if Jolteon's Quick Feet with Flame Orb, they outspeed us still. So we have to be very careful with what we do here. So let's Dragon Dance again. Dragon Dance again. Because they knew we were going to Dragon Dance again. That's why they switched out. And they are Flame Orb Quick Feet. So that is terrifying. However, I believe... Terra Flutter, no. No, I think, I think they outspeed us still. So we're going to have to switch out. I think we have to switch out into our... Because they already terrored. So we can go Great Tusk. I think we go Great Tusk and get the Stealth Rocks up. Because they're going to go for a Thunderbolt here. Because it's a Gyarados at plus two. They have to go for the Thunderbolt, right? If they don't go for the Thunderbolt, they're very, very, very ballsy. Very ballsy. They go for a Thunderbolt. There we go. So Thunderbolt comes through. Doesn't do anything to Great Tusk. They can't Terror Ice Terror Blast us. Which is great. Um, now we definitely go for a Stealth Rock. But the Moltres is definitely coming in. So let's go for the Stealth Rock and get that up already. So they withdraw the Jolteon. Are they going to go hit him on top, actually, to rapid spin away the Stealth Rocks? They go Moltres. So Moltres definitely walls Great Tusk and checks it as well. Um, so we go for a Stealth Rocks. And now their Jolteon, their Tyranitar, their Moltres, the Galarian Sloking are all going to get hit. Hit him on top less so. Hit him on top less so, so... What do we do here? I'm leaning towards the Reuniclus. I think I will go Reuniclus. It does bait in the Tyranitar a bit, but at the same time, it's like, whatever. And by going into Reuniclus, it also ensures they can't bring the Hitmon top in, really, to rapid spin those Stealth Rocks away. So we'll go into Flubber, the Reuniclus. We're Assault Vest. We can take a hit from the Moltres, no problem. Doesn't really care about the Burn either, which is great. Um, so what we can do here is we could go for a Focus Blast predicting the switch into Tyranitar. That would be a good play. If we pull it off, but it's risky. I'd say there's about a 50% chance that they'll switch into Tyranitar here. Um, so I want to go for a Focus Blast. I don't think they want to stay in. Let's go for the Focus Blast just to see. They actually stay in and Flamethrower. That should bounce off us. It does bounce off us. Um, so we go for the Focus Blast. We don't miss, which is nice. No hacks. No hacks is always nice. And it doesn't do any damage to the, uh, the uh, Moltres, but it's fine. As um, they, pro they realize we have Focus Blast and we probably predicted the Tyranitar to come in. So... I'm going to go for the Psychic now just to get the damage off because they're going to go for a Flamethrower anyway, which is going to do, like, damage. Um, so we go for a Psychic, and that is going to do a lot of damage to the Moltres. But this next turn, I believe they KO us with the Flamethrower. I think they have to Roost here. They have to Roost here, and then finish us off the next turn with a Flamethrower. I think that's what they have to do. But you know what? I'm still going to go for the Psychic. I think Reuniclus, if it's doing anything, it's this. They go for a Flamethrower that does actually still KO us. I didn't think it KO us, but it does. So, Reuniclus did all right, though. It weakens the the um, the Moltres, which is great. So, now we can bring Dragapult in and just go for a Shadow Ball. And to be honest with you, I'm going to go for a Draco instead. Because I'm not confident Shadow Ball will KO for a start based on the Reuniclus' Psychic damage. But also because I'm expecting the T-Tar to come in. But at the same time, I'm not. <laughs> because if, if we mess this up and Moltres gets another burn on us, we're going to be screwed. So let's go for a Draco Meteor. I'm pretty confident they'll either stay in or go T-Tar. One of the two. We go for the Draco. They do stay in. That was a good play. I was going to go for a U-turn expecting the T-Tar, but I decided against it. As Moltres goes down, which means Gyarados now has nothing to worry about if he can get a, if he can get a Dragon Ants up. Uh, no, we do have something to worry about. We've got the Jolteon. Jolteon is a problem. They go into Tyranitar, which is a big threat to my team right now. Um, so Tyranitar comes in, they get the unnerved, so they're not even a Sandstorm one, which is good to know. Which means they don't get that special defense buff. So now we go straight into Great Tusk, because Great Tusk can, can just stalemate these things. And Great Tusk Earthquake hits everything on their team super hard. Great Tusk is probably going to be the, re the win condition here, unless they pull out the Ice Beam on the Tyranitar, which is a possibility. Um, so we'll go Great Tusk anyway, we'll see how it goes. Great Tusk comes in, Tuscany's coming in. Good old Tuscany. They go for an Ice Beam, predicting the switch. That is going to do a lot of damage, unfortunately. Um, doesn't get a KO. 
uh, which is great. So we can go for an EQ now and get some serious damage off on this T-Tar. We should outspeed because I am max speed, I think. They withdraw the T-Tar because they are also thinking the same thing. And they're going to go into what exactly? The hit on top. Hit on top comes through. Like so, him on top is amazingly good switch here because it gets the Intimidate off and it's bulky enough to where it can take any hits. Um, Intimidate comes through. We go for an Earthquake. It shouldn't do too much damage to them. But it does a decent bit. A decent bit. Um, they probably go for an Ice Spinner to get the KO here. I'm just leaning towards what I want to do. I'm, I'm leaning towards going for the Dragon Dance on the, uh, the, um, the, the, the Gyarados. And then Terra flying, see if we can take a Thunderbolt from the Jolteon, but I don't think we can. So I am more so leaning towards something else. Uh, let's go for an EQ. I think it might KO. EQ comes through. It doesn't quite get the KO, as they do go for the Ice Spinner, which might KO us. It might not. It doesn't KO us. And we get the Rocky Helmet Chip, which takes out the him on top, which also means the Stealth Rocks are there to stay, which is great. However, they can now go into whatever they want to KO us other than the Slow King. And um, the T-Tar can take an Earthquake. We might have more than Earthquake. Yeah, they've only seen Earthquake. They haven't seen the Ice Spinner yet. We could have close combat for all they know. Slow King comes in. That's an interesting switch. That's for sure. Um, but we can go straight for an EQ here. They're, they're going to get hurt by the stones. They probably go for a Chili. I'm leaning towards the Gyarados switch because Earthquake hurts everything on that team. But I'm also leaning towards the Dragapult switch. I think Gyarados makes more sense because they probably do go for a chilly reception anyway. Um, but there's nothing I can really do to avoid that. I kind of want to keep Great Tusk around because it, it outspeeds the T-Tar and, and does a lot of damage with EQ. They go for a Psy Shock, which hits us on the physically defensive side, which is great for them. We kind of have to go for an EQ. We can't go for a Dragon Dance and risk it because if they go for a Sludge Bomb, it will KO. So I'm going to go for the EQ. Um, just to get some damage off. They do have a Shook... Is it Shookerberry for the ground-type moves? Which is going to stop them from taking too much damage from the EQ. Yeah, Shookerberry. Um, they go for another side Shock, which we might live. We don't live. And Gyarados does go down. So that is unfortunate. But looking at that Earthquake damage, I don't think Great Tusk's Earthquake could take it out. So I think what we do here is we go into um, Dragapult. I don't think they switch out. I think they Chili Reception. So I'm going to go for a Shadow Ball just to get as much damage as possible off on it. I, like I said, I don't think they hard switch. I don't think they, hard, they might hard switch actually into Tyranitar. They might because they get a free knockoff if they do that. They don't know, which is great. We go for a Shadow Ball. And that KOs the Slow King, which is fantastic. So Dragapult come through with a KO on the Slow King. The only problem we've got is... The Jolteon is a problem. We need to keep Dragapult healthy for that so we can Draco it. We need to get rid of the T-Tar somehow. So T-Tar comes in. It is unnerved. We get some Stealth Rock Chip. It's nice and shiny. It's nice and shiny. Um, we basically have to sack off Great Tusk at this point, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm hoping they go for a knockoff here. I'm hoping they go for a knockoff or a Stone Edge expecting the floor just to come in to take an Ice Beam. But I'm going to go Great Tusk because I think Great Tusk is defensive. I don't think it'll outspeed this T-Tar if it's got speed investment. So we'll bring Great Tusk in, like so. They go for a Power Gem. They are especially offensive T-Tar, which is really good for my Floor Just, because it means Floor Just, once again, walls their team. And, and I, I have a feeling they're Choice Specs. I really have a feeling they're Choice Specs. So we'll go Floor Just. And because there's no Sandstorm, this Moonblast will hurt really hard. And there's nothing their Jolteon can really do to us. So we'll go Moonblast once again. We go for the Moonblast. It should do a lot of damage, as it nearly takes out the T-Tar. Also lowers the special attack so that this next power gem doesn't do nearly as much damage, but it's not doing much either way. I mean, look at that damage. It's pitiful. Uh, Flourgis is just such a specially bulky Pokemon. That is for sure. Um, and I'm glad it's done well in this game and the last game. So let's go for a Moonblast once again. We outspeed, of course, the T-Tar, which means Great Tusk would have done as well, um, which is sad <laughs> for me because it means I didn't have to let Great Tusk go down. If I knew there was special, I'd have just brought Flourgis in straight away and then we could have Great Tusk as backup, but... It doesn't matter. We didn't need the backup because Flourgis is just too bulky. In comes the Jolteon, their final Pokemon. Nice and shiny once again. Stealth Rocks dig in. We go for a Moonblast. There's no reason not to. They can't do anything to us other than Calm Mind, Calm Mind, Calm Mind, Calm Mind. Ah, they have Calm Mind. That is not good. If we can get special attack drops with a Moonblast, we'll actually be all right. But I want to see how much this Moonblast does first. Not much. Not much at all. But I'm confident that this Jolteon won't have Wish. If it does have Wish, they might win with Jolteon. They may just win with Jolteon. 
I'm assuming the Thunderbolt, I'm assuming the Volt Switch. Um, Calm Mind, maybe Shadow Ball. I don't think they'll have Wish. They have Calm Mind though, which is what they're going to use again. This Jolteon's last hope of um, winning here is to get as many Calm Minds as possible, but I'm pretty sure a plus six Thunderbolt will still not KO my uh, my Florges. And we get the special attack drop as well, which is amazing. I'm pretty sure Florges still lives Thunderbolts for days, especially since we're getting leftovers recovery while they go for a Calm Mind. I don't think this Jolteon... I think this is a really uphill battle for the Jolteon. But I respect Cody for trying. <laughs> That's for sure. They go for a T-Bolt. Is it plus one? It doesn't do much damage at all. We go for a Moonblast. Jolteon goes down to the burn the next turn. And that is going to be the game. So GG Cody, that was a fun one. Floor just once again showing how it just basically puts the complete stop to most teams. Well, not most teams, but mo any special attacker, Floor just, just walls. Absolutely walls. So GG Cody, that was a fun one. I enjoyed that. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Let me know if you do use it. I want to hear your results. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.